Good morning, YouTubers. It's a Sunday, actually right before lunch. Before we go out to get some lunch, um, my hubby and I, I thought I would make a little video about what's been happening in my garden over the winter. Things are starting to green up in the yard, and I'm starting to clean out everything that I need to clean out for spring, and I noticed something that I don't like. First of all, I don't know if you can see this in the grass. There's these weird little ditches in the grass. Okay? And if we follow this around the garden, and we come over here, here's my herb garden. If we look here, this is where I have tarragon planted. However, if you look here, it has no roots. It's just sitting there. And there's a tunnel. So let's go inside the garden and see what kind of damage some little critter's been doing to my garden. I go in through the gate here. If you look, there's a really big tunnel. It goes from over here all the way over here. Splits off and goes over that way. And then it splits off and goes over to the herb garden. Yeah. And I thought having containers would keep critters out, but check it out. I didn't have any carrots over the winter because somebody got in there and ate them all. Dug up the carrots that were in there. And you look through here, you can see there's tunnels. The reason there's surface tunnels is because they tunneled under the snow and left these surface tunnels. Here's a really good one. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. <laughs> yes, but also not something I want to keep. And it went through the strawberry bed also. You can tell there's a tunnel. It kind of dug up the edge here. It went up up that way. It dug through this part of the garden over here. You can see there's a nice big tunnel right there going over to the fence. It also trashed my fairy garden. Everything is all dug up. Yeah, I don't know. I thought, well, could it be a vole? And I did some research, and yep, we have three kinds of voles in Nebraska. We have a prairie vole, a meadow vole, and a pine vole. And they love to eat roots and plants, especially young ones. Ooh, look at this. Look at that nice hole in the dirt there. And that pink stuff, <laughs> somebody told me that if they eat gum, it'll kill them. We'll see. I threw a bunch of sticks of gum all over the place. Some of it's gone, and they have eaten some, but... Anyway, how do I know what's a bowl? Because I actually found a dead one laying on the ground. As you can tell, this one's not going to eat any more plants. But I also know that where there's one, there are many others more holes in the ground right here side the, besides this container then they dug up everything that was in this container piled the dirt to the side and the back I don't know you can see it so they have their lifespan is from two months to To six months they don't have a very long lifespan they have anywhere from three to five babies every couple of months or sooner so you know this garden is probably full of little voles hiding under the ground wanting to eat everything that I plant so I have a new plan for this year 
This whole side here on the right is going to be rebuilt. I'm going to put raised beds in there, but with hardware cloth on the bottom so that they can't get in. Uh, that bed there with the strawberries in it, I don't know how I'm going to keep them out of there, but I'm going to try. Um, I'm following some of the advice from the extension office. So I'm going to put hardware cloth. I'm going to build them at least 18 inches high so that they can't climb in, which I find funny because they're like mice. They'll climb anywhere they want. But I'm going to try it and see if I can keep the critters out. If I can't, I'm going to have to place some traps. Anyway... According to the extension office, a mouse trap will work just fine, so if they aren't going to be nice and share with me, then they're not going to be able to share my space. I'm just going to have to get hardcore. Anyway, that's my garden. After the winter, it needs a lot of cleaning up and a lot of work, but I kind of like doing that, so I guess I'm going to have to get busy. Hopefully spring is going to keep coming and we're not going to get any more snow. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any advice for me on how to get rid of voles without too much trouble and without poison, let me know. Thanks.